most of your WordPress plugins are useless. We had to have a little bit of clickbaity something, but it's like totally, totally true. true. Yeah. It's totally true. So we wanted to create this video for a long time because one of like the key mistakes that we see people making when they create a niche site is loading up the site with plugins that are unnecessary yeah. and sometimes actively harm the website and it creates a big problem. So there are a ton of WordPress plugins and we wanna talk about all of them. So this is gonna be a really long video. But <laughs> we have <laughs> assembled ourselves in front of the wall of non-functioning clockdom so that we can time ourselves because we are gonna kinda of change things up. We've been getting our videos a little bit too long lately. Shrinking this one down to five minutes, put them on the non-functioning clocks. Freddie, you better start a timer. And we're gonna go through three categories of plugins. The plugins that you definitely should have on your site. Plugins that sometimes can make sense and plugins that you should not have. And I know there are some in that not have category that most of you have on your sites. Freddie? So, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. So what happens if we go over? I have the scepter raised. <laughs> um, if, we... <laughs> if we go over, I will buy I will buy a bowl of Thai curry for three of you who comment below with whatever plugins we missed that you're like that you're like oh yeah i totally think plugins. that you should have this plugin scepters raised begin all right the oh shoot now i'm not even looking at the list so <laughs> <laughs> the first one that i think you definitely should have is short pixel yep short pixel will take the images that you upload to your site and it will smush them a lot it will really compress the images but still make them look good it's the single biggest thing you can do to improve the speed of your white, of your, of your white, of, of your. your site is to uh, put on short pixel. We've tried a bunch. That's been our favorite. You have to pay on some of the higher packages, but it is totally worth it. I, in my opinion, every WordPress site should have short pixel. It works better at compressing images than Photoshop. For sure. And you don't have to compress every image. Like Even yourself. if you save for web and it devices, automatically it automatically does it, so it's better. The other one, the next one is Manage WP. We use Manage WP to do two things, really. The first is to do a full, complete backup of your website. You pay a dollar per month per site. And, and that's it a does full it. backup. There are a lot of plugins that say it's a full backup, but they don't save images or they yeah. uh, only save your your table of 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 the actual posts but not yeah. comments and stuff you, it's great right so full backup it's and having a third party backup i know a lot of hosts are doing this for you already like keep a third party backup if your host goes down you could install your whole website on another host and have it back up right away. Yeah, okay. and then the other thing we use it for is tracking keywords. So if your article is on F-150s and all the mods, you could do something like a F-150 you know, step rail to get in, whatever. If you have an article on that, you can see track over time how you're ranking for that primary keyword for your articles. Really helpful, inexpensive. The third and last, last, the third and last, we're having a hard time with words today. Yeah, it's bad. Words is hard. Okay, <laughs> the third and last plugin that we think you really should have on your website is one to manage your affiliate links. Now, there's currently an unnamed, unreleased plugin by an unnamed company that you all know and love. It's awesome. That may or may not come out around Black Friday that will manage all of your affiliate links, both Amazon and other links, just to make it so much easier to track. I've wanted it for reporting. years. It would be so cool if this unnamed company made something like this. <laughs> so um, so but, that, that may be a free plugin that may come out. But eventually. you do want something for this. And there are competitors that will yep. make your regular links to Amazon all turn into your affiliate link. It's just so much better to do it that way. It's faster, um, but also it can it helps you a lot because if you sell the site or something, they just change it in the plugin and it changes all the links. Okay, our time is half up. So here we go. <laughs> These are plugins that you might sometimes want. SEO plugins, just call them out. Yoast, um, um, All-in-One SEO, Google XML Sitemap. They're doing very little for you. And most of what they're doing for you, all of what they're doing for you is not necessary for most websites. Yeah, people feel like you need it to SEO your site. <laughs> um, there are a few key things that we need it to do. I would like to be able to change the meta description of a post and usually that's not built into themes even though awesome themes like Akabado, um, uh, it is it built in on. That. Um, but that's a pretty key one. If I had a site with thousands of pages and I were an advanced SEO, I would want to use this for some of the tools. For 99% of niche sites, it's just not necessary. 
you feel like it's doing something, but usually it's actually not. Contact form plugins. Man, there are some major problems with contact form plugins. The, first of all, you're introducing a major vulnerability into your website, that code. a lot. There are a lot of, of these plugins that just Con are- vulnerability yeah. is contact um, Also, your hosts don't like them because your hosts don't like sending email. It's a spam issue. Um, if your host sends email that's spam, then it harms their IP address that they're using for everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. We recommend going with something off of your website. We use JotForm. It's Jot, awesome. It's just great. You create the forms there. You can either create a link and it'll open a page for the form or you can embed the forms on your site. But then all the responses in the forms just show up like in uh, spreadsheet format. So you can actually like analyze data. That clock is stressing me out. It's going very fast. Um, okay. Another option is Google Forms, which is free if you yes, want to go absolutely. there. So that's a bunch of the, sometimes you're going to need these things. And I would also include like, page builders in there that um, are really helpful if you're designing a special custom landing page or a sales yes. page, but don't use it for every post because then you're locked into that system. Yeah. Use Gutenberg instead. Table of contents plugins is a, ah, I could go back and forth on that one. For really long posts, I just think format the post so it's easily scannable and you don't need that plugin. But they, they are cool, so they it's a cool. sometimes. Yes, um, speed plugins like caching, um, things like Autoptimize, as far as caching goes, like do whatever your host recommends. If they're going to recommend a specific caching plugin, use that one. If they do the caching themselves, you don't need one. Um, ah, we, ah, that's we've five minutes. It. Okay. Um, for all of these sometimes plugins, virtually all of them, you Stressing don't need. Out. I've got to turn this off so we can just <laughs> calmly do this video. Yes. Buy your Thai curry. Can we just make a video? <laughs> Gosh, guys, you're so demanding. No, if, <laughs> most of these plugins become completely unnecessary if you use a theme like Akabato. That's why we built Akabato, yeah. was to just eliminate the need for this. And you can find that at incomeschool.com slash Akabato. But this isn't an Akabato push. Like There are other really great Good themes point. that will do a lot of this. But I just think it's really unfortunate when you get a theme that doesn't do so many of these things. It would be so easy to add into the theme um, that you end up with eight plugins just to have core functionality of the site, which yeah. increases vulnerabilities and errors and site and page load time. I don't like that. Yep. Okay, some plugins that you just don't need and just should not put on your website. I said, I almost said white You're white. Well. Get it on it's your website. If you shorten website, it's kind of like blog. <laughs> website, shorten it. It's, uh, no, I'm just Get kidding. Your... Sorry. <laughs> um, security plugins. I know that sounds really counterintuitive, right? But like the truth is that WordPress is extremely secure. If it weren't, millions of sites would get taken over today yes. on WordPress. WordPress is very secure. They're patching it constantly anytime there's a vulnerability. Yeah. If your host is also very secure and they have some, uh, there's a lot that the host can do to make your site more secure. Yep. If you're with a solid host, you're with a, our recommendations are Bluehost for a small site, WPX for a big site, you can get it at incomeschool.com slash hosting. If you're with a reputable company, yep. you're gonna do just fine there. And then if you have WordPress without a bunch of plugins increasing security vulnerabilities, you're gonna do good. And that's exactly right. When you install a plugin on your site, you're taking third-party code written by somebody else that you're probably not reading through if you're like most of us, and you're putting it on your website. And so all they have to do is put a little bit of malware in that. All they have to do is open a little back door through that plugin, you install it on your website, and now they have it. Yeah, so what I would say about security plugins is I, I get why they're there, and I've looked into it, and I see some of the things they do, and I say, that is really cool. But a decade of owning dozens of websites yeah. that a lot of people would like to hack into and have tried, the only time I have ever been hacked was from a plugin vulnerability. And I, we don't run any WordPress security, WordFence kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying they don't do anything. I'm saying that's a long time of being secure. If you have a good host and no vulnerabilities from plugins, you probably don't need it, even though they do some cool stuff. I, I would argue yeah. it. I would say other plugins that do formatting for you, other than like a, a nice page builder like Divi or Elementor, if you need it for custom landing pages like sales pages, any other type of formatting plugins like table builders and stuff, just use Gutenberg. Oh, this like, is a big one. It's going to, Gutenberg will always be up to date with WordPress, always. And, and Gutenberg, you won't see that in the editor anymore. If you just download WordPress and you just use it's the just, editor, it's just the editor. Yeah. You can do the table of, or you can do the uh, tables. tables. You can do the columns. Pull quotes and all, and the, all sorts of things. It's all built in now. Um, so use that. If you use a page builder, 
you're just going to create a rat's nest of a problem if you ever want to switch to a different page builder, a different, a different theme, theme. etc. So. The last one is a plugin for Google Analytics. This is just completely unnecessary. All you need to do is take a little snippet of code and put it onto the website. Mm -hmm. And most themes are have that capability just built in. So either the theme will have a spot for you to just put your little tracking ID, or they'll have a spot for you to add code to the header, in which case you'll take that entire little script that Google Anal Analytics gives you, put it there, and it'll put it on every page on your website, and you're done. Your you don't do need a plugin for, for this. And again, every plugin you add is another potential security vulnerability. It's another opportunity for um, you know, plugins to have negative interactions with your theme or with each other. It's just another opportunity to slow down your website and cause problems. So if we have missed your favorite plugin, leave a comment below. Uh, if you disagree with, uh, just if you disagree with Ricky, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pick uh, two or you said, three. You said I three. I picked three random yeah. people to uh, buy you a bowl of Thai curry uh, to thank we you for coming. We went way over. <laughs> we weren't even close. We'll try harder next week.